This is Dr. Frank A. Thomas, and this is another version of Living Your Passion. We're having such a great time. Uh, I'm getting such wonderful feedback from you all on these, on these spiritual vitamins that we're dropping. Thank you for listening. Thank you for paying attention. I'm excited to do it and excited to receive your feedback. Thank you so much. This week, I'm going to be talking about three ways to increase authority in your life. Three ways. You know, a lot of us wrestle with authority. You know, authority is a big issue. It's a very critical issue. If you remember the scriptures, several of the Pharisees kept asking Jesus, by what authority do you do these things? Uh, who gives you the authority to do these things? By what authority? And a lot of us wrestle with authority. Uh, by what authority? Do we have the authority to live out our passion? Do we have the authority to live the life that we really want to live? Well, I want to share three keys to living the authority that's in your life. The first one is I've learned that I must come to discover what is it that I most deeply believe. Um, I, this, this is important, so it may take me a second, but let me explain it to you this way. Um, Let's say, for example, that you go to the doctor's office and you discover, based upon the doctor's diagnosis, that you have a life-threatening illness, such as cancer. When you find that news out, it's very difficult to walk out of the doctor's office. So what do you tell yourself that gives you the courage to walk out of that doctor's office? You know what I would tell myself? What I most deeply believe about God what I most deeply believe. So what is it that you most deeply believe about God? That, that's, you get a sense of authority in your life by coming to know what you most deeply believe by God. Number two, by coming to answer the question, what is it that I want really? Now, a lot of us know what we want, but what we want really is an entire different, entirely different matter. What many of us want is fame, fortune, um, celebrity, material things. That's what a lot of us want. But you know what we want really is often a value like peace, like love, like joy. These, what we really want are spiritual values. So the first thing to actualizing authority in your life is that you must know what is it that you most deeply believe about God. The second thing, what do I want really? I mean, what do I want? Not what do I want? We know what the flesh wants, but what do I want really? And the third question that you have to answer in terms of your own authority is, what does God give my hands and feet to do? So I know what I most deeply believe about God. I know what I want really. And then I actualize that by what is it that God would have my hands and feet to do? God would have me to do tutoring lessons for, for children that are, are slow in subjects. God would have me to feed the hungry. God would have me to clothe the naked. That's the authority. The authority is God would have you to do. But you don't get that God would have you to do unless you know what you most deeply believe about God. Secondly, coming out of that, what do I want really? What's the spiritual vow? You want peace. You want love. You want joy. You want justice. You want mercy. You want compassion. And then now that I know that, God, what do you want me to do to actualize you and what I most deeply value from you, peace, love. And so for some people, it's to minister to children. To some people, it's to preach the gospel. To some people, it's business. And they run their business in a Christian way that allows them to employ people and help people. So what is, that, that's the authority. The authority is, number one, what is it that I most deeply believe about God? Number two, what is it that I want really? What value? do I want in my life from God? And then thirdly, what is it that God would have me to do? When Jesus operated out of these three things, your people said he teaches as one with authority. He doesn't teach like the scribes and the Pharisees. He teaches as one with authority. You can have the same authority in your life. You can have it. You just got to answer these questions. God bless you. I want you to know that every Monday we have a Periscope call, a live session on preaching on Periscope. Once a week, every week on SoundCloud, 
I release a spiritual vitamin. I want you to know that every Monday we release a video teaching of, on preaching. And every Friday we release Living Your Passion, another version. I want you to just subscribe to all these platforms so that as soon as they come out, you can get them instantly and quickly and urgently. I want you to know it's a great joy in my life to present this material to you. I just thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. I ask you to share it with your friends. Uh, if it's blessing you, it'll bless someone else. So share it so that others can receive. God bless you and thank you. And I'll see you next week.